Welcome to the IHS Data Connection Data Importing Video, part of the Introduction to IHS Harmony video series. This video will introduce the IHS Data Connection, demonstrate importing data into Harmony with the IHS Data Connection, and discuss the data importing options with regards to this connection. IHS Harmony can connect directly to IHS Canadian and US well production data. This is the data that is found within IHS AccuMap and IHS EnterDeck. This connection allows you to import data found in these sources without leaving the Harmony application. The data types that are transferred with this connection are production and attribute data. I'm going to begin with an existing Harmony project where I have already selected a few well entities. IHS data can be imported using commands from the IHS button on the toolbar, or accessing the same commands found in the file menu. The import from IHS is used to import wells that do not currently exist in the project. This is possible for wells located in the USA. The update from IHS is used to update wells for wells currently existing in the Harmony project. This is possible for wells located in Canada with the InfoHub option, and for wells located in the USA with the EnterDeck option. First, I will demonstrate updating well data. I will show the process for the Information Hub. However, the process is identical for the EnterDeck USA update. All wells in the project can be attempted to be updated, or only those already selected in an entity viewer. I'm going to update only a selection of wells. The next step is to enter your credentials. Note that credentials for the InfoHub will not work to access the EnterDeck data, and vice versa. Selecting Connect will query the IHS database for the well names you had specified, and for those wells that exist in the IHS database, the attribute and production data will be updated. These wells will be updated based on the updating data options in the global options. These can be accessed either from the cog button in the toolbar or from the tools menu under options. Current project data is either protected from overwrite or open to overwrite based on these options. The global options also contain information about the IHS connection. Here, you have the ability to save your login information so that you do not have to re-enter it, and also the option to show or skip the credentials dialog. This option is only available if you have saved your login information. Next, I will demonstrate importing new wells with the EnterDeck data connection. The credentials dialog window will be generated. You'll be required to enter your username and password. Pressing connect will open the IHS import window. This window consists of a GIS interface, a table that will show attributes for wells selected for import, and the attribute list located on the left side of the window. The first step is to zoom into the location where the wells you would like to import data for are located. This can be done manually with the manual zoom, or you can go to a location or extent based on location information as latitude and longitude or universal transverse Mercator, UTM. I'm going to enter an extent as latitude and longitude. Selecting refresh wells will populate the wells that exist in the database for this land area. A limitation for this import is that it can only handle 2,500 wells at a single time. So if you get this error message, you will need to decrease the map area by zooming into an extent containing fewer wells. Refreshing the list again, we now have the wells populated onto the GIS. 
The next step is to select the wells. This can be done by selecting them from the GIS, or you can use the query function to query all wells populated onto the GIS and populate the import list from this query. I'll demonstrate both features, but I will spatially select some wells from the GIS before using the query function. The mouse cursor button can be used to access one of the two selection tools. The area selection is a rectangular selection tool. Move your mouse to where you would like the upper left corner to be, and holding click, move the mouse to the location of the lower right corner. This will select all of the wells contained in the rectangle. The lasso selection tool is used by drawing around the wells you want to select. I will demonstrate this while holding the control key so that I can also select additional wells without losing those selected with the area select tool. When wells are selected, their attributes will be populated into the table. And the list of selected wells will show in the import list. The table can be used to select a subset of wells, either by selecting rows of data manually or using the query function. The table can be reorganized on any attribute to help with data selection. Selecting the wells to retain and right-clicking on a row number of any of these selected wells, you have the option to select this subset and consequently remove the unselected wells from this list. The query function can be used to filter this list based on attributes, such as the producing reservoir. Select the attribute to filter against, the operator, and then the operand. Select Add to move this to the constraints to build the query. For convenience, this query can be saved to be accessed in the future. Selecting the Query button will generate the resulting well list. Select Import Wells will move to the next step. Since this project already contains some wells, it is possible to link incoming data to wells already in the Harmony project. By default, Harmony will do this based on the well name or the unique well identifier. Since I know these wells currently did not exist in the project, I'm going to skip this step and select OK to finish the import. This import type creates a custom group containing the imported wells with the name IHS import and the date. This concludes the IHS Data Connection data importing video, which introduced the IHS Direct Connection, demonstrated how to import data into Harmony with the IHS Data Connection, and discussed the software options related to importing data with this connection.